This is something I didn't think I would ever be saying watching Bungo Stray Dogs, but Operation Stop Moby Dick from Blowing Up the City <laughs> is a go. <laughs> What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Bungo Stray Dogs, Season 2, Episode 11. Last episode, we have a... It was... The first part was really cool with Rampo and Edgar Allan Poe, but the second part is more critical to the story of what's going on. We have the Part 2 of the emergency plan to burn down the Guild, ADA... Or not the Guild, Port Mafia, ADA, and the Moby Dick flying transport vehicle is going to be the center of it we have herman on there we have francis fitzgerald we also have octagua and atsushi has to figure out a way to stop this so it's going to be insane i am ready for it remember if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching we are four episodes ahead on patreon links in the description like always for you don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel don't forget to follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all that dapper darius much much appreciated you guys let's hop into this bungo stray dogs season two episode 11 rashomon the tiger and the last emperor rashomon the tiger and the last emperor let's do this it's been a whole season since these guys have gone at it which uh a lot of people kind of corrected me on my original take that octagawa is hateful or resents Desai, but it's more of an abusive relationship in which he desperately seeks Desai's approval, which makes so much sense. And I don't know why I said hates him because that does happen, especially when you're seeing, you know, and that makes sense why he's not jealous, but he is also jealous of Atsushi because Atsushi gets nothing but praise from Desai. So this is an interesting ploy, interesting tactic to be used right here. It makes a lot of sense because Desai knows Octagawa better than damn near anyone. So I apologize for my misconception last season or a few episodes ago, whenever I said that. But thank you guys for always keeping me on top of it. That is a handy way to stop yourself from falling. And he hangs up. That's so fucked up. Desai is so fucked up sometimes. <laughs> I thought Zelda was the name of their ship. I love cream cheese. Is Zelda his significant other? Is that why he named his cruise liner after her? Interesting. A simple contest. Alright, dead center of the room. First one to get it. Valid point. That was quite the kick. Yes, I need to know it, what it is officially. The Great Fitzgerald instead of the Great Gatsby. That was $100,000 worth, he said, right? Talk about a rich guy's fucking heaven. Oh my god. Is that why... Damn, Zelda be spending bucks. Is that why when um, Atsushi first came in contact with him um, a few episodes ago before he got captured, he said that was a $10,000 kick. So he actually equates money to strength, which is insane. But he put a $7 billion uh, target on it. This is so crazy. That's at least a dislocated shoulder. How is he going to fare against Octagua, though? Agua. Agua Gar? Hmm. 
を救助する理由がないのだよなぜなら君はまだ正式な社員ではないからだ元殺し屋に善人になる資格はない Damn Sakuma Oda himself all、mm. But no, you shouldn't because Desai himself is a great example. So is Oda. Oda's a fantastic example. Jesus! <laughs> Rashomon is such a dope ability. And yes, he did. <laughs> This man is throwing hands. Five hundred thousand dollars, and he's gone. Sound like a true hero, sound like a true member of the ADA. Ah, oh, my lord, horrible. Really? That's so horrible. I think Octagua feels for him a little bit there. Thinking everything's not golden and amazing for him because it's really not. Oh, that was slick. That was slick. I hope they team up. They really should. I really hope they do. Because they were both abused and came from horrible situations to the places they're at right now. They can definitely relate to each other. Just like how Atsushi did with Lucy. That's a valid point. That's why Octagua goes solo in so many of his things. He's making valid points. I understand this. Stray dogs, bungo stray dogs. Ah,、uh, the loop and bar, as he says. Yeah, I love that. He's gonna, he's gonna beat her number by a long shot. A mere 35. This guy is probably much more. Also true. He's making valid points. You can change for the better. Yeah, he feels like he's nothing. He thinks he has everything, but it's only because he has everything he wants. Mm -hmm. That's literally everything Desire or、uh, Octagua wants. The ultimate challenge for you, Octagua, with that lightning. Okay. Demonic armor? He can wrap himself in Rashomon? Oh my god! He looks like a completely different person! This is so crazy! To help with his physical combat. <laughs> yeah. All because Desai won't acknowledge him. Yeah. When you, when you embrace the tiger. 
Are we gonna have a full transformation? Oh, this is like a 90 percenter. We're almost there. This is probably maximum strength. Oh, this is quite the gifted powwow. Yes, they're both very much alike except different at the same time. Oh, I love the blue and the red. They're working together, but not working together at the same time. Probably exhausting. Man, nothing stops this guy. Now we have some motivation coming out of him. What kind of what kind of powers does the book have? To bring back someone from the dead? Oh, it's all making sense. It all makes sense now. No matter the cost, whether it be financial or physical, my wealth is dispensable. This man's going Super Saiyan fucking 3! Hey, when it comes to his family, yeah, I can understand this. This is actually... I was not expecting that as the motivation at all. There's the city. Oh my god, look, oh yeah, I was literally just about to say, look how many people are gonna die, and he's picturing all of his loved ones. They still have a difference in opinion on their life motivations and stuff like that, but they know they need to work together to do this right now, which is so dope. Beast Beneath the Moonlight, Demonic Armor, round two, baby. This, oh my god, this is so dope. This is literally insane. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So I love how they differ and disagree this entire episode, yet Francis said they are both very alike because they are. They are both striving for their, their, their right. Ah, it's, it's very hard to, to put into words, but Octagawa disagrees with Atsushi because Atsushi has everything he doesn't, and yet he still risks his life all the time to get a stamp from someone who literally may not even exist that his life is worth living versus Octagawa who has so much power that Atsushi doesn't so much um power and I don't want to say resources but power and and a stamp I don't know and he uses it all selfishly just to improve his own power and standing just to get approval from one man who like Atsushi said, may have already, like, I think, I don't want to say Desai the whole time was doing it so Atsu or, uh, Octagawa can just continue to improve himself, but I do think Desai does approve of him, just doesn't want to say it, you know, it's, it's very interesting, it's a very interesting dynamic, and they both are heavily flawed in terms of their motivations, but it makes so much sense why they would keep pushing, and now they need to work together in order to stop this man, and that was so dope, he's golden, Octagawa's red, Atsushi's blue. This is literally all coming to a head. Season two, uh, season one was great. Don't get me wrong, but season two is fucking incredible. Like, I just cannot stop watching the show. Oh my lord. Um, I don't even know what else to say. Just that the fight is insane. His power and his motivation is also makes a lot of sense in terms of Francis. Um, he's willing to spend anything, whether it be physically or financially, to, to save his family. Whereas his, his daughter died due to illness and his wife, being unable to cope, became mentally ill. That is very realistic. That does happen. That's why he was talking to her on the phone, saying, yeah, she's still studying abroad in London. I'll never forget. And he's just constantly motivating himself. You know, he named his cruise liner after her. Oh, that's, 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 a, that's a good motivation. I can't lie. Good motivation. But this is... This is crazy. I gotta watch this next episode. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias. Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter. All at Dapper Darius. Don't forget to drink some water. Be safe. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.